Au. Out and about legends, good morning. So this morning we're gonna have a another smash around um, on the bike. Um, the original plan was to bring out the Mondraker, but on the further inspection the cassette and chain are um, not really up to the task, so I need to get them done. It also needs the bottom bracket done and the brakes plate, so I have to get them squared away when I can. But today we're back on to the, the beast. That is Santa Cruz Hackler. So we'll give it as a blast during the day. The idea was to try and get out and just sort of spend a few hours just cutting around the back area here up near um, Hard Springs and um, the area sort of surrounding it. But um, we'll see how we get on um, and I'll bring you along for a ride. So let's see how we get on with all this. And uh, once we're all geared up and ready to go, we'll pop you onto the bike and we'll bring you along. Eat and a bit. Right now, so this is the first time I've been over this side. I don't know this is what they call the Eastern Loop side. There's loads of like run-ins and drop-ins and all sorts. There's a wee, a wee run down this side. So what we might do is just uh, leave you fired on here, and we'll just take a run down and see what um, see what it's all about. I don't know if I'm going to survive it, like, but we'll give it a shot and see. Yeah. Yeah. Cobwebs are here. Ow. Ow. Nice little slow speed crash there. Always good for morale. Ow. So we're currently riding the dirt track. It runs along the side road all the way up to gunpoint. Um, I don't know how far we up we go. I'm just doing a bit of exploring, that's what it's all about today. 
just go out and explore and see what we can find and see etc etc cut through the back alleys and see what's going on in the bush in a bit Right then legends, I was on that wee river crossing there, that was good fun. Like this is proper exploring out back here on a mountain bike. Um, and to be fair, it's like really quiet, but there's so many. I didn't realise how many like off-road four-wheel drive tracks that you can get onto around here. It's unbelievable. But yeah, uh, you see we're all done up with this gear today, which is like my running gear, but We'll do that, I can carry more water and carry more stuff on it just in case anything happens um, when they're cutting around. But every now and then when you're coming across, you get that random smell. And the only way you can describe it is like the smell of death. So it's like stuff lying dead on the side of the road. Sometimes like wee wallabies and stuff like that, you know what I mean? But it absolutely stinks when you're driving past. But oh, this has been um, this has been interesting so far. So it has, and the gravel. It's really, really deep gravel. You don't realise it pulls the legs out of you. So you have to sort of ne negotiate what way you want to go around. And cobwebs. The, the spiders' cobwebs out here, they're like wire. You hit them and just really feel them in your face. And you're pulling them off your face for ages. But yeah, this is good. Right, so we'll move on. And we'll see what else we can see while we're exploring. Eat in a bit. I found the smell of death. Cane toads lying everywhere here. Don't know what's killed them, there's one still alive over there, but the ants are having it. No. Pretty well. That's what the smell was, that one. See the wee wallabies up here jumping across. Don't know if you could see them. Just powering up the path here. There's a main road to over to my left hand side. It's sort of like the dirt track off it. I'm not going to lie, I genuinely thought there for a good 10 minutes I was lost and wasn't going to get back out onto the track. I could literally, these tracks out here, they can run for hundreds, even thousands of kilometres, crisscrossing the whole outback. 
we end up last year. Pretty snookered, I'm sure. But we're back on the road and I'm hoping we're going the right direction. We'll soon find out. Right, we're moving on a bit here. I'll tell you for why. There's guys shooting in there over to the right hand side. And meeting the calibre of people that I've seen shooting around here. I would get out of the road pretty rapidly, which is what I'm trying to do. Because I don't even think they know what direction they're shooting in. So we'll keep paddling along until we get away from it. Mental! I don't know if you can notice just how, like, how long these roads go for. It's like as far as the eye can see. But we'll jump back onto the, uh, the dirt tracks on the side. And we'll see where we'll go from there. But yeah, dodging away. Right then, legends. That was a wee exploration of the bush. With 30 odd K just cutting around the, the back areas there. And we're back to the motor now. But it's a um, pretty relentless place. If you get caught out up there, it's, um, it can be pretty ruthless. It's like I'm covered in random spiders and shit that I don't know what they are. But yep, the, uh, the old beast held up well. Um, we'll get it packed away in that now and then. That'll be us until the next one, but uh, just a short and sharp one. Please, if you haven't already, like, share, subscribe. Uh, and look at some of the previous videos. Do loads and loads of different stuff. So um, really help me out with your like, share and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Uh, till then, stay safe. And uh, as I say, it and a bit.